What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So over the past couple of weeks and especially over the past probably about five days, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys in the community that are asking about more stimulus. Are we gonna see more? Are we gonna see those stimulus checks? Are we gonna see uh, more for people on social security? Uh, more for lower income earners, right? That's the question I've been getting asked quite a bit. So I wanna answer that in today's video. First, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the social security increase and a potential $1,400 stimulus check, where that is coming from. We're gonna dive into pandemic EBT. Gonna talk a little bit about the state lotteries um, and give you an idea about what's going on there and how some experts say this was either good or it was a failed attempt at getting more people vaccinated. And obviously we're gonna jump into stimulus checks. First, is a stimulus check going to come? As of right now, the answer is no, okay? The answer is no, it's not gonna come right now because according to many experts and economists, the economy is, is starting to round that corner. We are starting to see we are going to be taking off very soon. Now, the economy isn't doing horrible. However, there's certain parts of the economy that are doing better than others. We are seeing a K-shaped recovery. We are seeing the lower income earners are actually, they're, they're trending downward, it's, it's hurting them. But the upper income earners, everybody's doing great. They're buying new, new cars and boats and new houses and, and it's just a different world. But Congress needs to focus on the lower income earners and the middle class. That's exactly what Senator Bernie Sanders has been saying for quite a while, is let's focus on the working class people. Let's focus on the lower income earners, the middle class, and then they will boost everybody from there. But again, we have to focus on certain people. Here's what I can tell you. Right now, the cost of living adjustment for people on social security is gonna be 5.9% in 2022. This will be the biggest boost since 1982. I wasn't even born in 1982, but this will be the biggest boost. In 2021, we saw a paltry uh, increase of just 1.3%, but that was due to the fact that we were not seeing a lot of inflation in 2020, mainly because we were going through a pandemic we were in the midst of a pandemic. So that was the reason why we didn't see a big boost last year. That's the reason why many people only got a $20 increase. This increase of 5.9%, it's gonna be about a 91 to $92 increase per person. That's pretty big. That's gonna push you up over $1,600 uh, per month. Now, a lot of people have said that this is, this is a great boost, this is looking good, but the problem is it's not enough. It's just not enough. Roughly 40% of Americans on social security depend on about 90% uh, of that income as their overall income. That's 90% of it, okay? And roughly 66% 60 of those recipients rely on social security checks uh, for at least 50% of their income. So that's a huge portion. This is pretty big considering right now that that uh, you know, the government could technically default on their debts come December 3rd. If this happens, according to Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, we would actually see social security checks would be delayed. Now, let me ask you this, if you're on social security, could you wait an additional two weeks, maybe a month, to get your monthly social security benefits? Would you be able to live? Because most people, no, 40% of Americans on social security rely on these checks of 90% of their income. No, there's no way people are saving a lot of this money. It's just not possible. Now, hopefully this won't happen, but again, we're only 48 days away. So we will see if this does or not. Now, one of the groups that is really pushing to see some form of additional uh, stimulus go out to the American people that are on social security is the Senior Citizens League. They say that a 5.9% increase is just not enough. It's not going to do what many experts anticipate is going to do. Not when the inflation, the annual inflation rate currently in September, or currently from September is 5.4%. Many food prices have gone up over 33%. Gas is up 41.7% from last year. Crackers, bread, and cracker products are up 3.1% month over month. I bring this up 
because a lot of people say they're eating crackers and bread. Well, when it has gone up 3.1% in one month, that's crazy. When you are trying to eat bread, making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, just to give you an idea, peanut butter has gone up over 6.2% year over year. So, you wanna put peanut butter on bread? Well, you're gonna pay 6.1% more than you did last year for peanut butter. You're gonna pay 3.1% uh, more than you did last month just for bread. Consider that, think about that. This is also one of the reasons why the Senior Citizen League is asking Congress to pass a $1,400 stimulus check for those seniors. They say this will help because right now, uh, the increase of cost of goods and services is too much. This is going to help those that can't work or who spent all their life, mainly who spent all their lives paying into the system and the system is actually keeping them in poverty. When you are collecting social security checks, well, a lot of these, a lot of these people, they, they can't work. They're, they're, they're elderly, they're disabled, they cannot work. So the Senior Citizen League saying, we need to provide for our seniors and we need to do it now. And just remember this, President Biden promised as a campaign promise, he was gonna provide $200 per month boost to all social security recipients. This was actually gonna last two years. Well, this would have been $4,800. $4,800 would be great. $1,400 is just a small portion of that. So the Senior Citizen League is asking just for $1,400 because this would truly help out the American people. But again, we'll see if that actually happens. As of right now, there's no discussions uh, within Congress to pass a $1,400 stimulus check. Doesn't mean it can't, it just means we're not seeing it yet. Now, I don't know if this would happen. My expectation is no, I don't see this happening because right now, the big push is for uh, expanding Medicare and including dental, vision, and hearing. And if those three were to pass, then additional possibly $1,000 stimulus debit card would pass as well in order to pay for those services. So that's what we know as of right now regarding social security. But let's get into pandemic EBT. I wanna address this because over the past probably week or so, I addressed this last week where I was talking about uh, one of my friend's YouTube channel and he talks about you know how you can uh, you know create a warmer home by uh, you know, light candles under this ceramic pot and all this stuff, right? Uh, teaching you how to save money by gardening and, and growing seeds and doing all these other things. Well, a lot of people asked, well, what if I cannot afford to go and buy stuff to grow a garden? What if I can't afford to, uh, you know, grow potatoes or things like that? Well, what I can tell you is if you go to stores, you can actually buy seeds with, a, with an EBT card. Okay, many people don't know this, but you can buy seeds with an EBT card, which means if you have an EBT card, you can go and start a garden. So many states have already started paying out this uh, the summer 2021 pandemic EBT benefits. This is actually $375 per child. Any child under the age of six, as long as the family or other children within that household have uh, EBT or SNAP benefits, okay? You will actually be able to get basic food as well, which means that child that's under the age of six who's not yet in school would be able to get one month or one payment of $375 uh, as well. Again, so let's say you have three or four children. The way it works is you don't get one card. You actually get a card for every single child. So you'll get $375 for, uh, let's say Bobby and $375 for, for Janice and right, you'll get all these different cards, okay? So that's the way it works. Now, every single state, except for the few states I'm gonna read off, have actually approved pandemic EBT. So, and for the summer of 2021. The states that have not approved this are Idaho, Nevada, North Dakota, and Oklahoma. Those are the four states that have not approved the summer pandemic EBT. So uh, just keep that in mind. Now, if you're not sure if you qualify or not, just go and go and apply, okay? Uh, that's, it's pretty easy to do, it's quick, it's easy, simple. But just so you know, anybody that has, has children that are uh, accepted into the free or reduced meals at school, you automatically qualify, okay? So that is uh, my little, tidbit on pandemic EBT. If you got any more questions, 
let me know. I'll try to answer those questions the best that I can. But let's get into the vaccine lotteries. Here's what we know, and this I thought this was very shocking. State spent roughly $89 million on COVID vaccine lotteries. I think it was like 19 states that participate in this. However, data suggests that these vaccine lotteries didn't raise vaccination rates as many people expected. Multiple economists say that these funds were actually not used wisely. According to reports, the lotteries range anywhere from about $100 to $1 million as the top prize that multiple states uh, you know, put on. I know here in Washington State, we had a $1 million prize winner as well. And experts say that this was part of the reason why it failed. Let me explain this. If states would have split this money up uh, into more prizes, as opposed to just a $1 million uh, you know, lottery, you will pick a random winner, whoever gets the vaccine, pick a random winner and that person gets the $1 million. That's great. But they say if, if the prizes would have been uh, less than a million dollars, it still would have been life-changing. So let's say you do 10 at 100,000, that would have actually got more people to participate. Even states providing $100, if those states would have increased it to let's say $1,000, more people would have participated in the vaccine lotteries. That's at least according to reports. Some argue that giving a higher dollar amount would make this much more appealing. And some people are not gonna sell their dignity and uh, go and get the vaccine for just $100, okay? They're not gonna do it, or for a very small chance of winning $1 million. Many people aren't gonna do that. But if there's a one in 10 chance that people are gonna go and get, let's say, uh, you know, $1,000 uh, you know, gift card or $1,000 you know, stimulus check, whatever, right? More people would be inclined to do that. But here's what I can tell you. Based off of the reports that we've been getting, experts say that this pandemic is costing the US about, tw about uh, $21 billion per day. Now, this is based off of a $16 trillion loss over two years, okay? So $16 trillion divided by, uh, what is that? What, 700 some days, right? Is about $21 billion per day. So, here's what some are saying. If we were to give the American people a $1,000 check to entice them to go and get the vaccine, more people would do it. This could be easily doable. This would actually provide uh, more or give more uh, Americans the vaccine, which according to President Biden and according to many experts and health experts, this is what we need to finally reach herd immunity, get back to normal, open up completely, get workers back to work and everything is right back to our pre-pandemic levels. But they say just, uh, right now, if the government were to do this, more people would jump at the chance to get a $1,000 stimulus check to go and get the shot. But let me ask you this. Would you do it for $1,000? I'm curious. I'm just curious if you guys would go and get a vaccine if they gave you $1,000. Because right now, according to experts, yes, more people said yes, they would. So that's what we know right now. That's what we know regarding the, the COVID vaccines and the state lotteries regarding the pandemic EBT and regarding social security boosts. Right now, I just want you to understand Congress is still on recess. They come back on Monday. Hopefully we start getting a lot more reports because right now things are looking like we're getting closer to a deal on this, this large infrastructure bill and stimulus package. But as of right now, it just takes one Democratic senator to say no and the deal's dead. So. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.